Several Cameroonian political leaders have reacted to the bribery and oil market price manipulation scandal involving officials of the National Hydrocarbons Company, Sonata, and the Anglo Swiss uh, trader, Glencoe. The politicians all call on Cameroon government to carry out internal audits and get the root of the corruption case. Joy Gong has details. Since the Anglo Swiss commodity trader, Glencoe Company, pleaded guilty for acts of corruption and manipulation of oil market prices on the 24th of May 2020, incriminating the staff of the National Hydrocarbons Company and the National Oil Refinery, Sonara, it has been raining reactions from different political party leaders. According to a statement from Professor Maurice Camto, president of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement Political Party, it has been proven that officials from the National Hydrocarbons Company and Sonara received bribes amounting to 7 billion francs CFA. In return for these bribes, Glencore Company had the freedom to tamper with the selling price of Cameroon's oil, causing the country considerable financial losses, amounts which are yet to be established by an independent audit. As stated by Maurice Camto, the Corruption Acts escaped the vigilance of the Cameroonian law enforcement and justice systems who, according to the politician, were rather occupied with tracking down militants and sympathizers of his political party. The CRM calls to attention the long stay in power of the head of the National Hydrocarbons Company, who has been manager for 34 years. The party demands for the opening of investigations and audits of the production, sale, import and storage of petroleum products in Cameroon. In the same way, Honorable Joshua O.C. via a letter addressed to the Speaker of the National Assembly, request the putting in place of a parliamentary inquiry which will gather all the necessary data and submit at the National Assembly. The Commission will equally examine the various services of the implicated enterprises and administrations in a bid to evaluate the gravity of corruption in Cameroon's petroleum sector. Honorable Joshua Osi requests that Glencore Company pays a considerable sum of money for the damages against the state of Cameroon. The fight against corruption in Cameroon cannot bypass the National Anti-Corruption Commission. Reacting to the recent revelations, Barrister Akere Muna implores the president of CONAC to launch solid investigations on the case implicating the National Hydrocarbons Company and Sonara, as he says, nobody is above the law. Glencore pleaded guilty during a court session on May 24, 2022 agreeing to pay over 674 billion francs CFA to resolve the United States government's investigations into foreign corruption practices, Cameroon inclusive. The company lawyers outrightly admitted to have bribed officials of the National Hydrocarbon Company and Sonara with up to 7 billion francs CFA to assist them in obtaining crude oil cargoes and gain undue favorable prices for them. However, Glencore Company has agreed to pay settlements to the tune of 920 billion francs CFA covering penalties for their involvement in multiple counts of bribery.